Hi, my name is Nikisha Koss with Avid Artist Relations here in Austin, te Texas for South by Southwest 2012. I am speaking to Ben Shapiro of uh, Gregory Crudes and Brief Encounters. You are the director, also the producer, and the editor, or one of the editors. One of the editors. One of the yeah. editors. Yes, as one of the editors, yeah. That's, so you're very deeply involved in this project. Can you tell me about what spurred that? How did you become involved? Well, I first met Gregory Crutzen, who's a you know very well well known photographer. I met him. I was working on a public television series, and they asked me to produce a piece about him. So that was in 2000, and I've been filming him on and off ever since. Great. Has that ever presented any challenges? Uh, yes, many challenges. <laughs> Many challenges. I mean, you know, he's always been given. He's always given me complete access, so that's that's always been great and kind of has been important to the project. He's been a real partner to the project, and it's a very intimate, close-up look of the creative process and of his life, really, over this time. And, um, and you know, there are always creative challenges in making a movie and and finding a structure for a documentary. I mean, documentaries don't necessarily have an inherent structure, and so you have to make them compelling and find a way to be uh, do you know tell the story. Yeah. Effectively, yeah. 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 And you guys are, or you did premiere at South by Southwest for the, it was the world premiere? We did. Right? The world premiere was uh, just a few days ago here. And uh, I'm very pleased. It went very well. It's, the film's been getting a lot of attention, you know, on the internet and just some people talking about it and people coming up to me and speaking well of the film. And it's got its first positive review in the local paper. Oh, so, that's so it's exciting. Okay. Um, can you tell me about a, the workflow and, and the post-production of the film and things that you ran into with the amount of footage that you had? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, you know, we'll cut it on Media Composer software on a system that I have and, and own, and uh, uh, that was all fairly straightforward. I mean, it, it's not a very graphic-intensive show. There are a lot of different kinds of, you know, footage from, you know, DV, HDV, um, EX cam, you know, a bunch of different kinds of formats, but that wasn't really a problem. It really combined smoothly. I mean, one one issue that we did deal with was his photographs are super detailed. He takes extremely detailed, large scale. They're almost like stills from a movie. And that's really what he's known for. That that's is what he's really known for. Yeah, I mean, he you know, he does things where. Uh, his process is like taking a movie. It has crews of 50 or 60 people. They can block off city city streets for blocks at a time, and lights on cranes, and lights and hundreds of lights and windows of buildings, and just incredibly elaborate. And so the final product of all the, that work are these photographs that uh, are actually end up as digital files that are many gigabytes in size. Mm -hmm. So so the issue for us was how to integrate those into our workflow. Mm -hmm. And we reduced them down to to about anywhere between 150 to 250 megabytes and imported those into the Avid uh, and programmed in the pan scan using the pan scan plugin that way. That's great. Yeah. And then what was the next step in that for you? Then we then we took it into you know we finished on Avid DS mm -hmm. uh, and did the color correct and actually had to recreate all the moves because the files were so big that we we couldn't really use the full size full res files on the media composer because the files were so huge but on the DS it worked and it was it was not a problem but the process is all was technically speaking was really was was quite smooth you know going from the media composer to the DS suite that's great yeah that's great it sounds like people have really received your film well here and um, have, are there any questions in the Q and A's that have stood out to you uh, well, there are some things that always come up. I mean, people are always interested in, in how I got on the project and what it was like. You know, there's this funny contradiction in a way because Gregory Crutzen is taking these still photographs and he's shooting them like an incredibly uh, elaborate movie, you know, with, with big crews and, you know, cube trucks and the works, you know, yeah. building custom sets and on sound stages. And then here I am making a movie and I'm shooting basically often as a one man band, just me and a camera. And so it's kind of a little bit of, of a reversal, but um, but it was interesting to me. I mean, it was a, it, it, the shoots are fascinating. It's fascinating just to watch him create these photographs, and he's a great character and, and an interesting, super interesting guy. So I think that comes comes across in the movie. I mean, it's it's more than just a a, a process film about art. I mean, it is that too. But he's also a compelling character in his own right. Right, that's great. So for folks that aren't here in Austin and would like to catch the movie, is there anywhere they can follow or or check in to see more about where this might be coming close to them. Definitely. I mean, we the, you go to the film website, 
uh, which is GregoryKurtzenMovie.com. You can also see a trailer there. You can actually look at some of the okay. footage. Yeah, and see some of his images. And there's also a sign up on the homepage where you can sign up for more information. Hope people go go do that. Then when we, you know, we finalize our distribution plans and it, and it comes out, people can we can keep people updated about that. We also have a, a Facebook page for the movie, which is just Gregory Crutes and Brief Encounters. Great. So Gregory Crutes and Brief Encounters in the d uh, documentary Spotlight at South by Southwest. Thank you so much, Ben, for taking the time to talk with us today. Check that out and follow Avid at, uh, on Twitter for more information about interviews that we're doing with filmmakers and musicians throughout the festival. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.